Hey there. Well, today I'm dealing with uh, root suckers. Now, these little uh, suckers I'd cut from that mother tree about five days ago. A little bit more dirt in there. <clears throat> and they survived that cut so and when actually when i pulled them up i could see that they had their own little bit of root there i'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of rooting hormone down in there Let's get some dirt down around it. And what I'll do is, is I'll work the dirt into it with water. Uh, the water will cause that dirt to suck down into it, potting soil that is. And work its way down up against that uh, tiny root ball. Now there's weeds and stuff like that I left on the root ball whenever I took it up and the reason being is the fibers of those weeds and stuff will help hold things together until I can get it in a pot and situated. Now, I did five of these all together. And the reason why I dug these up and put them in pots is I'm going to try to winter them in the basement. And uh, hopefully they'll live because next year I'm going to use them for uh, grafting. That being said, now I got one over here that I pulled up. I'm going to show you here real quick. That's the one that I uh, cut to all oh, about four weeks ago. Now, something that I'm going to do may seem kind of odd is take that top off not all of it and there's a reason why I'm doing that I left a little bit of this on here to help feed this. I want this right here to live. I want the stem to live and the leaves collecting photosynthesis uh, or collecting sunlight and creating photosynthesis, I guess that's how you would say it, will help keep this right here alive. This right here is what I want to live to uh, graft onto. Now, if I removed all them leaves, it would probably die. Or, if I left all them leaves on there, it probably would die. Let's set it back down here. Now, if these ones right here, they're a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to take out some of the leaves. Try to keep it from dying as well because what it'll do is, is 
it'll try to feed all that and it don't need to feed all that like I said I want this stem right here to live because that's what I'm going to use to graft a little bit small on the stem side but maybe it'll pick up some size over the winter underneath grow lights Another one right here. Like I said, I want that stem to live, and as long as I can keep that stem alive, I'll be all right. We'll see what happens. You know, I can't plant these together because if I try to plant them together, they're not going to produce. Uh, they won't uh, germinate one another because they all came from the same tree. <clears throat> get some more dirt around that a little bit later a little stem right there sister right along with it get rid of it this one here's got some little extra branches going on with it cut them off get them out of my way they're not helping me for what I want to do But anywho, that's what I'm up to. Once again, I you know I cut all the leaf off on the side of uh, them uh, pawpaws uh, with the idea of just keeping that stem alive, and uh, so it doesn't try to put all the energy into trying trying to stay alive, uh, uh, feeding all them leaves, and uh, you got to get rid of some of that stress. I have uh, three of them in the grow box right now. Uh, I did those back in May and they're still doing pretty good. And uh, these are just something that I want to give a try to as far as grafting. Something new, you never know. Anywho, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. You have a God-blessed day.